stereo panels. Ah, so much blinking. Now what up? Hmm. Hi, Peach. We haven't seen you since episode one. Here we are on episode ten. Oh goodness. A great exalted, a great exalted crowd. No, I gave that. No. Um. A great exalted Grotus. We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. The Princess Peach you ordered. Hello. Electricity. Hmm. Interesting. Vel, 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 my pet. No. Vel, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. No. Oh. Princess Peach, you will speak. No. Oh, I know how to. Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There is no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. The x nuts are not all rainbows and lollipops. I assure you, we are quite nasty. Grotus, sir. Grotus, sir, I have news. Report advance. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? Won't he defeat that Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a mustached dude with a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me, Mario. Oh no! Oh no! Me and my big stupid mouth! <sighs> I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long, that I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And then, take good care, Princess Peach, understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. You got it, dude. Well, Lord Crumb. The hell? Random glass bottle fell over. Okay. If this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the Crystal Star where we're... We're hunting in the Boggly Woods. He must return there immediately and hasten the, evac the excavation. It must not fail. Was that? Oh, yeah, sure. Roger Grotus. And with that pal, I'm gone. Hey, I'm Crump. I'm not so Crump. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Mm -hmm. X not. I summon you. You rang, dude? I mean, sir? You rang, sir? Grotus, dude? Grotus? Sir Grotus, sir? Shut up. Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. The Shadow Sirens, sir? But they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them. Now. Gotcha. The Honorable Grotus has need of us. Then we arrive without delay. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Steal your tongue, Beldum. We would already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you, that map is vital to the x -Noc plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. Ooh, the ship from Pikmin 2. That, that'd be good. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> fear not, sire. I... Beldum shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. 
go. <laughs> hmm, so we're looking through a camera now. Space! A room that means nothing to us right now. Peach! Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Oh my god, I believe it. Anyway, Mario and Toadsworth must be worried sick. Again. But, hang on a moment. Where the hell am I, anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. Greetings to everybody from Medicine. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we finished up Hooktail's Castle, finishing Chapter 1. And, well, obviously beating Hooktail and getting our first Crystal Star in this episode. We're back to playing a speech again, just like in the first game. Yay! And so something was looking, someone was looking through a camera and suddenly that camera just glitched out apparently. Just like electrocuted itself or something. Let's go in here. We got a bathroom. What a lovely shower. No scum, no soap scum even. Wow, I wonder if it works. How does the plumbing work on that bathtub? Clawfoot bathtubs always confuse me. Like, how does plumbing work in those things? Oh. <laughs> Why was she giggling in a shower? And I'm legitimately surprised. This, well, I guess they don't want to waste too much time. Being, uh, being a game in Japan, from Japan, you got a bathtub there. I thought for sure that it's like, oh, let's have her actually take a bath. I wouldn't take as me as much different. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. Behold the hairstyle I much prefer Princess Peach with. Up in a ponytail. It looks so good to me. Also, I never noticed as a kid, probably my colorblindness, and also maybe the TV wasn't as good as a kid, but is she, like, wearing makeup? It looks like makeup. Hmm. Anyway, let's head on out into the ro oh. Oh, I guess I had to do that. Okay. Oh. Whoever's watching through a camera had to see that first. Got it. Hmm? What was that? Hey, how odd. The doors open by themselves. That's not, that's not the peach voice I was just giving. Mario! That's the peach voice. I have no idea what the other voice was. I should try and remember to hold on to that one. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. What is this? It doesn't work. Hmm, I feel as though I'm having troubles with my peach voice right now. How do I keep opening these... Hmm. Mario! How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. Ooh, dark room. Turn the lights down low. Or turn them back up. Why not? That works too. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here before your eyes. I am this labor laboratory's main computer. I am the T... I am the T-E-C-X-X. -X. Uh, many call me tech. You may... Sir Grode has created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus, wait, he's that awful dome headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you 
No! Impossible! It can't be! Your computer! In my household, that would be an insult. Calling someone a computer? I won't say why. Just know that it is. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Do you know my boggle? Oh, I couldn't really, because... It's just too weird. Please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe... Oh, as a kid, I never noticed. It's just her, are her eyes supposed to be, like, going, like, to the side? Like, uh, I don't know. Is it possible that, well, you're in love with me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. Sorry, sorry. I listen to that song a lot lately for some reason. You know, I shut up on my iPod a lot. So now, anyway. Love, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you'll do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness, fun. I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend, love? That's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Mm, Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? Your computer! Rude! Oh, right. Normal context. Psh. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. Crazy little thing called love. Okay. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But, of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What, are you insane? You extra excited at me like common Koopas. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll get grant my wishes? Ha! Huh! You're not even good enough to be my fake. I'm so sorry. Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry, that emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here it goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient, address, and message. Wouldn't a recipient and address be the same thing? You mean this keyboard? All right, let me give this a shot. Oh, yes, please. Just perfect. Thank you. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could, could you send it? Wow, 2004 email sending that fast? Holy shit, that's amazing. What kind of internet you got, Tech? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh... Okay, then. Good night. Good night, Princess Peach. So she te save all your progress. Yes. So Peach will be busy teaching Tech how to control a row boner. Oh, what do you want, Maple Sharp? Show I'm busy. I'm not gonna have a lot of time after this either. Damn it. And now, whom you've all been waiting for, the most important character in the whole game. You really think there could be a Paper Mario game without him? Hell no. Nah. Oh crap, with my throat the way it is this week. Oh. Okay. I can do this. 
<laughs> Bowser the Mighty Koopa King has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, care me, you crusty old hag! Why did you summon me? Uh, great Lord Bowser, the uh, Cressy Hag Kami Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Please, your ghastliness, I have to ask you to wait at the weir, we 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 room. Greetings, your huffiness. The Hag Kami Koopa will be arriving at any moment. So, the other day I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Whew, I tell you, the look on his face when he was in... Mooning over that thing? Huh? Yeah! Hello, Lord Bowser! Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share! Me too, I want to get gone. I'm not funny, sir. He's not funny, sir. Lord Bowser, I have been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. Uh, super, in that case. I order you to do some sit-ups, Tubby. What happens if you talk to him again? Lord Bowser, uh... Okay, same thing. What do we got here? Hail, Lord Bowser. Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Hail, Hydra. I mean, Lord Bowser. Oh, I didn't get to talk to these guys, damn it. Ah, Lord Bowser! Oh, God. Kami Koopa and Beldum are the same voice, almost. Shit. I need more old hag voices. <sighs> oh, I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor not-so-grumpiness. Hey. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <sighs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. T treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of a star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The crystal stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them! Yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. The name-calling is kind of unnecessary, though. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Fried egg? That's the best way to eat an egg. Not the easiest. The easiest is obviously scrambled, but still, best way to eat an egg is fried. Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. But, what well, a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Airhead! A picnic? You moron! This is no time for fun! See, this is why my evil plans always derail. Because you clods always goof off! My throat is in so much pain! Arrgh! No. Oh dear! Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. Hmm? What's that? Mumble. What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport. Uh, so how did news of Princess Peach's kidnapping arrive to them before word of Mario searching for treasure and getting all the way to Petal Meadows? Her recon sucks. Wh what? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How, when, where, who, why do such thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to report now. And I will continue to randomly use all caps on s put emphasis on certain words. 
I've got to kidnap her back! Sup, bitches? Peace! But, your grudginess, wait up! I'd love to see more of Bowser's castle there. It seems interesting. Oh well, we're not gonna see any more of that. Saving, okay. Cool. Progress has been saved. Yay! My throat is in so much pain right now. Holy crap. Like, it feels like it's on fire. Oh, we have dialogue here, which we can hear in the next episode. And so join me next time, and we'll hear what they all have to say. Return to Rogueport and get set up to go into Chapter 2. Ooh, I just remember what Chapter 2 is. I actually really like Chapter 2. A lot of people don't. I do. Until then, this has been Amanda. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. Adios!